Most problems that can occur during installation of insulsafe fiberglass insulation can be solved right on the job. Sometimes it's as simple as adjusting machine settings for your particular conditions. But you have to know what to look for. Most of the time it isn't a product problem or a machine problem. It's something you have control over. If you have not viewed the certainty video called The Right Way to Insulate Attics with Insulsafe, now is the time to look at it. You should also review our video on proper machine adjustments called Adjusting Blowing Machine Settings the Right Way. If you don't have copies of these videos, ask your supervisor to order them from CertainTeed. They have a lot of information you should know. Let's start with coverage. To achieve the correct R value for each job, you must blow the correct number of bags to a minimum specified depth. This chart is on every bag of Insulsafe, and it should be posted on your machine. Blow fewer bags than the chart indicates, and the R value will be lower. Blow too many bags, and you're installing too much material, and wasting money. For example, if an attic calls for R30, you should cover a maximum of 67.1 square feet at a thickness of at least 11.75 inches with each bag of Insulsafe. If you don't meet those requirements, the attic will not be R30. However, if you're aware of the required amount of insulation for a given area and are still not getting the correct coverage, here's a checklist of possible reasons. We'll discuss each one in turn. Incorrect machine settings, incorrect square footage on the job ticket, hose problems, poor machine maintenance, improper installation technique, improper storage technique. You should double check the machine settings every time you blow Insulsafe. If you've been blowing another brand of fiberglass, your settings will probably need to be reset to Insulsafe's recommended initial settings. Remember, insufficient coverage is often caused by a speed setting that's too high. The right way is to review CertainTeed's installation guide and then check your machine settings before each job. The optimum feed rate for Insulsafe is one bag every one and a half to two minutes. No one expects you to time yourself with a stopwatch, but this time frame is a good rule of thumb. There's always a temptation to set the machine faster so you finish up the job quicker. But that's definitely not the right way. You'd be surprised how often someone makes a simple mistake on the estimate or the builder's plans change after the estimate is completed. The point is that you are responsible for making sure the numbers on the estimate correspond with the amount of insulation required to achieve the desired R value. Many experienced crews check the job ticket themselves to make sure they have the right number of bags and can blow the correct R value according to the chart. When you're counting the number of bags that need to be installed, don't forget the material in the hopper. Before you start a job, is there a bag or two already in the hopper? When you finish, is insulation left in the hopper? Count all the bags you use so you can really be accurate about how much material actually goes into the attic. Don't underestimate the importance of your hose in getting the right R value coverage. The hose must be at least three inches in diameter or you could experience blockages and uneven coverage. Don't attach a larger hose just because you think it will speed up your job. It doesn't work that way. And remember, the hose must be at least 150 feet in length to properly condition insole safe. It must also be corrugated with internal ridges like this or material may not blow properly. And be sure all the hose joints are properly sealed with tape and any holes are taped shut 
or you will run into installation problems. If you use hose couplings, make sure they are the correct ones for your hose, or you could have blockage or coverage problems. While we're talking about conditioning insulation, here's a tip. If you're installing InsulSafe using a Unisol brand machine, you may want to install a stator bar like this in your machine. We'll talk more about this later in the video.